The Virginia Department of Agriculture is looking for a few good farmers like Glenn Rhodes. Rhodes is a partner at his family's business, River Hill Farm. They grow hemp crops. Hemp has been illegal to grow for a lot of years, but there's been legislation at the federal level to allow research. So we're involved in a research project with JMU in the state of Virginia to just see if we can grow hemp on a farm scale. Rhodes and his farming family hosted Industrial Hemp Field Day. Field Day to educate folks on industrial hemp, its uses, and the legislative issues we have with growing hemp in the state of Virginia. Hemp has a lot of uses in industry and in the food, uh, in food also. It's a very high protein seed, and the fiber is very good for manufacturing things, even like car parts. The farmer says hemp can be used in a variety of ways and would be good to boost the economy. Hemp is a crop that has a very good protein content, very digestible, and the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio is perfect for the heart health, they say. So it, it'll definitely be a good source of protein to add into the protein in our diets. Industrial hemp can only be grown under a license through the state. Uh, we license currently through James Madison University, but recently you're allowed to license through the state agriculture department to grow hemp, it's still done as research because of the way the federal bill, the federal law is currently. Rose is expecting new state and federal regulations on growing hemp. There's actually a farm bill in Congress at the federal level that will remove hemp from the Controlled Substances Act. So that will open up production, commercial production in agriculture, where it'll be treated more like a, a normal commercial crop versus a restricted crop. The 2014 federal farm bill allows for hemp to be grown for research purposes if it's grown um, in a state that has a law that allows for hemp to be grown for research purposes. The farm, federal farm bill also uh, defines hemp as cannabis with a THC level no greater than 0.3%. In Virginia, Virginia has the Virginia Industrial Hemp Law. It was enacted in 2015. Um, and it allows for public institutions of higher education to conduct hemp research. Um, they would directly manage the research and my agency, the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, um, oversees the research. In 2018, uh, the Virginia Industrial Hemp Law was amended to add a second research program that's directly managed by my agency. Um, and. Um, while maintaining the Institution of Higher Education research program that's also still available. Aaron Williams is a policy analyst with the Virginia Department of Agriculture. 2018 Farm Bill that's currently in conference and being um, debated, it includes provisions right now that will um, change the definition of hemp, will broaden what is considered to be hemp, still maintains that 0.3% THC, level that the cannabis cannot go over. Um, it will um, offer, currently there's provisions to um, address um, insurance and banking issues that hemp growers are currently um, having to, that are currently challenges for hemp growers. Uh, the provisions currently uh, require states that want primary regulatory authority to submit a plan as to how they would regulate um, industrial hemp growth to USDA, the U.S. Department of Agriculture. She explained why Rhodes and other hemp farmers prefer to seclude their hemp plants among other crop like corn. Some growers um, prefer to protect their crop that way. Um, hemp is outside of um, a research program, hemp is a controlled substance. It is the cannabis plant, which is a federally listed controlled substance. Um, some, it has the appearance of its cousin, marijuana. Marijuana is also derived, is a cannabis plant. Um, and some growers uh, prefer to um, protect their crop from the view of the, the road um, because often um, passersby are interested in identifying what that cannabis crop is, is doing. Now, her agency wants more hemp crops growing in the state. My agency, the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, is currently accepting um, register applications for uh, industrial hemp growers and um, industrial hemp processors to participate in our research program. James Madison University is continuing its research on the hemp plant, but with numerous restrictions surrounding planting a hemp crop. It is a Schedule I controlled substance, 
at the federal level. There a series of legislation from the Farm Bill and a, and a budget omnibus in Congress that basically made it easier for university programs and research programs to, to move forward with him. Samuel Morton is an associate professor of engineering at JMU. Morton is one of the primary investigators on the JMU's industrial hemp research program. Morton says they are mandated to follow the law regarding the Controlled Substance Act while conducting their research. I can't let you take any of this with you because once you, as it's here, it's fine. It's on the road, it's a felony. The legality of growing hemp was that it, it's not distinguished um, from its um, other family members of the cannabis family, the ma marijuana, and w nationally there's a big conversation about marijuana in general. Hemp is sort of incorporated into that because of the fact that it is a, the same species as, as, as marijuana. This is the first time that the bill has a chance of passing at the federal level. It's been introduced a number of times and never, never amounted to anything, but there's a really good chance this year that that the Industrial Hemp Farming Act will pass in Congress. There's been a lot of bipartisan support. Uh, there's uh, just a, a movement building up a lot of grassroots lobbying and our legislators are, are taking notice and so there's a really good support for the bill. In Port Republic, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.